welcome back to the channel today. Uh, coming to you from upstate New York. <laughs> today it's uh, April 4th, and uh, as you can see, we're getting a nor'easter coming through uh, late in the day. Uh, so I had to take my daughter to work today. It's kind of a situation where she has to be there uh, or else the, the dogs and cats don't get their morning meal. So uh, I'm not out driving frivolously just to make a video. I had to drive my daughter to work, so I figured I'd make one on the way back. Uh, today, I just want to go over uh, my thoughts on the Michelin X Ice Snow SUV. These are the snow tires that we put on my wife's 23 Honda Pilot. We have the Elite, so it's got the 20 inch tires on it. Uh, 255 50R20s to be exact. Um, kind of a big tire for a Honda. Honda usually doesn't go that wide. Um, but they did on the Pilot. And uh, so just kind of want to give you my driving impressions. We haven't had much snow this winter. In fact, this is really the second storm that we've had up here um, in, in upstate New York. Uh, so I haven't had much snow time on these tires. Conversely, I've had a lot of time on these tires uh, when it comes to highway driving and just around town. Again, this is my wife's car, so she drives it 95% of the time. The only time that I really drive it is if we take a family trip on the highway somewhere. Um, so real, real quick, just kind of want to go through my impressions of the tires. Uh, on dry pavement, they're, they're great. Um, really no complaints at all. Uh, quiet, smooth, uh, handle well through the turns. Um, really no issues uh, to, to speak of, to be honest with you. Uh, in the wet, good. Um, we do have the, the Elite, so it's all wheel drive. It only comes all wheel drive from the factory. Um, so starting up isn't an issue if you know how the uh, all-wheel drive system works on these pilots. Uh, it, it sends power to all four wheels from a takeoff, so you're really not going to get on the slip um, from a standing stop. Um, cornering on wet roads, no problems, no issues, very, very sure-footed. Um, hydroplaning resistance. If, if it's really puddled up and you're going around a curve, I feel like they lift a little bit. Um, if you look at the tread pattern, and hopefully I'll, I'll add a, a shot of the tread pattern in uh, to this video. The blocks are kind of close together, so the sipes um, in between, the, the tread blocks aren't that big, so that may contribute to uh, to why they're not the best uh, hydroplaning resistance, in my opinion, but really no worse than the summer Bridgestones that came on it. You know, they handle kind of similar, so um, no complaints there in terms of it's not any worse than the summer tires that came on the car. Uh, also, uh, fuel economy, so my wife, she drives this car down to Albany um, for her commute. Hey, my apologies for that. Uh, while I was trying to get that branch up in the air, a tree fell down further down the road and blocked the road. So I had to turn around and, and head back uh, to the main road. But uh, 
So fuel economy. Um, I'll be honest, my wife, you know, she commutes with this car three days a week, 50 miles one way. I track fuel economy, tank over tank. Um, and she's getting 23 uh, miles to the gallon in her commute. Her commute, the first half is a 45 mile an hour two lane blacktop. The remainder of her her commute is, uh, is you know, 70, 70 miles an hour on the interstate. Um, and she's getting 23 with these snow tires. I'm not gonna complain. That's actually better than she was getting in her, uh, her Odyssey on the same commute that's only front wheel drive. Um, so, so really, really, really happy with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the fuel economy on these tires. Uh, noise and comfort, extremely quiet, extremely quiet. They're Michelins, they're known for their comfort. Um, they excel at it. Um, very, very happy. Uh, you can carry on a conversation, no issues. I'm even gonna say they're quieter on the highway than the summer tires. Great handling, great uh, great response from the steering wheel. Um, really don't feel like you're on a snow tire at all, so from the noise and comfort standpoint. Um, finally, pricing. So I bought these early. I bought them like in August. I do that because if you track the sales, um, usually you'll get some preseason rebates and stuff. So I was able to do a double dip on these. Uh, Tire Rack was doing 100% instant, I'm sorry, $100 instant rebate. 100% would be phenomenal. But it was a $100 instant rebate where uh, they would take off the the price right, right at the, uh, right at the checkout and then Michelin was doing another $80 on a, a uh, gift card so to speak like a visa card so um, was able to double dip on both of those which was which was uh, very odd usually you're not allowed to do that um, so I, I bought them they, they arrived literally at the house the next day so uh, Always look for those kind of preseason sales. If you run the dedicated snows and you know, you know you're gonna need them. Start uh, start tracking the the pricing in July. See what what's out there. That's my little tip and trick of the trade. Um, little caveat or a little addition here. Woo, okay, we're sliding a little bit. So the roads are a little greasy. So that gives you an idea. Uh, even with all-wheel drive, even with snow tires have to take your time um the, the roads are what upstate new yorkers call greasy or greasy um you just get that little bit of slush down below and uh it, it can act like ice um and it, it's dangerous uh so you just got to know it's there and, and how to react but i will say the honda the honda traction management system stability control it kicked right in i could hear it pulsing the brakes and everything and it did what it needed to do to get me back on track so good job there honda uh that that was a great uh great demonstration of their work there so yeah my, my quick thoughts and, and and reviews on uh the michelin x ice snow suv in the 255 50 r20 uh again these are these are an xl load range which is kind of a heavier duty tire which in my opinion you want on an suv especially uh something like this that can tow up to five thousand pounds maybe you're you're towing uh you're you're towing a set of sleds up to tug hill or something like that um you want a tire that can handle it uh speed rating 118 you know, nobody's nobody's doing a Bonneville salt, salt flat run on these tires in their pilot uh, but it does have the, the, the three peak uh, mountain and snowflake rating as well on them which is getting pretty common we're even getting all season tires that have that rating on it so uh, there so again thanks for stopping in checking out my video drive safe out there if you're out on the roads today <laughs> um, just take it easy spring break in upstate New York. You gotta love it. April. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.